never got any with their jowls. Coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> Yo, yo. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining us again today. Thank you for supporting the channel thus far. You guys have been doing an amazing job, and we have been Thank so you. grateful thus far because you've blown up the channel. You guys keep giving us sick recommendations as well so with the comments. Many. You you know, drop in the comments for Bill Burr, which is who we're reacting to again today. This is a recommendation from you guys. Whole lot of different artists, and we've totally opened up our eyes to so many different talents, which has oh, been yeah. outstanding. Broad spectrum. And we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank Facts. you. Really, really do appreciate it, and we love doing this. It's a whole lot of fun. Why wouldn't you want to watch great <laughs> talent, entertainment, and uh, and you know, open up your eyes? Like I said, so much yeah, different stuff. So. For sure. Uh, you don't you don't know this obviously we've done some Bill Burr, Bill Burr before. What have your thoughts been on some of his stuff? I think that he's really funny. He's very raw, honest. Doesn't Truth really teller. care. Yeah, doesn't really care about what other people think. He just tells it as it is, you know. And I have a feeling this might be a little bit older, considering he's got some hair going on. <laughs> yeah, I I think he's probably bald now, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah. Um, I don't know when this is from. I mean, if we look at the description, we probably could tell. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah. you know, but he's I'm enjoying uh, them. Yeah, he's been good. We, we did some Dave Chappelle as well. And, uh, both of them are hilarious. I, I have no complaints about them. I, I've, I like a lot of other comedians as well. Robin Williams was somebody that, uh, I went and saw live before. Um, I never got to see George Carlin. I have seen like a few of his bits, which I, which I found funny. Um, I love Kevin Hart. He makes me laugh. Yeah, he's funny too. Um, but definitely haven't seen a lot of Bill Burr. So this has been cool. We've been introduced to yeah. him and opened up our eyes to a lot of his uh, stand up, which has been yeah. great. So, you ready to uh, listen to some gold digging horse? <laughs> yes, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Hey, man. Why would why wouldn't as, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. All right, the guy's getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get seventy million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. <laughs> Can, I, can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter for the quarter of a billion fucking dollars. Somebody, go ahead, somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it, what, what, he cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, he cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension, right? Get that 10 years in? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot. Right? <laughs> you know, it's funny, we just both sat back in our I chairs know, right like, before you oh. do that. I'm doing it to get comfortable. Yeah, but, me too. But that was funny time. Yeah. <laughs> and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot. Right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. <laughs> How many? How many more great men are going to get chopped in half before we do something? <laughs> Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. <laughs> There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. <laughs> yeah, they are, except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end, so it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I didn't give up my Laker tickets, right? That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's just, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. You know? 
people, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. <laughs> Some woman Facts. cut her husband's dick off, threw in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy. <laughs> Nobody cares. Stumpy. <laughs> you think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear <laughs> for an entire month. Still true today. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. Taken down by that gold-digging whore of a maid he's got. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore. Right <laughs> Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that. His delivery is really good on a lot of them. Like, you know, he just, you know, point, 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 and then he hits the punchline. Yeah. And it, it comes in really smooth. Yeah, that's what I like about him. Yeah. 1987 flat top, he's still rocking. <laughs> giant space between his teeth I could put this mic cord through or think maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom <laughs> oh it's awful it's a horrific thing to see as a guy watching guys go through that shit you know and then there's no there's no sort of examination of it they just go ah he's an idiot hey stupid that guy's stupid if that guy's stupid what the fuck am I <laughs> <laughs> does it even make sense why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> it's gotta be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks, you know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> That should, be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for living. Oh my God. I think in Arnold's words, he said that he should have been yodeling in Austria. Yeah. That's pretty damn close. Transylvania. <laughs> the great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> He lifts weights, ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No, next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down, there's a bomb, get out of there. <laughs> becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you gonna do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maddie Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. <laughs> Bam, he does it. Cherry on top, I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. <sighs> Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? <laughs> this dude has been in the zone for over four decades. <laughs> four decades, nothing but net. Bang a maid in my own bed? Dude, that's a layup. <laughs> serious? I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> right? And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls coming on TV absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> I'm a public servant. His, his, his legacy is proud of him. <laughs> oh, man. Like, they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like, they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer <laughs> parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? Oh, my gosh. <laughs>
This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. All right. <laughs> How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. I golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. <laughs> Sorry ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? <laughs> that kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's gonna <laughs> form on the horizon, right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, will run down the road, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, time, on the cover of Time Magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman that's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. How the hell would I know? You don't wanna hear that from me, right? <laughs> then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. All right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? <laughs> it's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? That's this is exactly what we were talking Literally. about. Literally. Right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. had a conversation about this. Yeah, but I was basically just saying that, like, on social media, there's so much stuff out there that messes with males' minds at this point. Yeah. That the dynamic. Promiscuous have, lady photos. Yeah, <laughs> that the dynamic has completely changed by how it probably screws up men mentally. But, anyways. Yeah, and their uh, innate nature to. To do what he's have talking about. Testosterone <laughs> pumping. It's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> Unless you're laying the lumber. <laughs> but the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know, that do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up. I'll do it. I'll suck it. I'll do it, right? <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums. I feel like he just made that up. He's like, at a fucking Hooters. Hooters. <laughs> They're bums. Like just the way he put that, threw that in there. He's just like, from some place. I don't know. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. Dorito dust! I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, oh, that's what the law says. <laughs> no, it's all right. And all this shit's going down and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week. All right. <laughs> Watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. Right? All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Even worse, you think it's your friend. Yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer, you know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. <laughs> I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. <laughs> Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over like, yeah, no, 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 no,
You have to know that. Dude, your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waiting people <laughs> around. Everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. <laughs> All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Thank oh, you. Oh, those are jokes. He kills me, man. I mean, that might be my favorite one. You saying that, that would be your favorite one? I think that might be that one or the McDonald's one. Yeah, I think that was my favorite one. I, I my face is hurting, and I'm trying not. I was trying not to have too many tears coming out of my eyes there. So yeah. I, I thought that was really funny. The, the Arnold Arnold thing oh, was God, jokes. I was dying. And uh, towards the end, it got better. It got better as it went on. It yeah. Was, you know, it was yeah. obviously, you know, that's the part of the skit or whatever the. The Dorito dust in your cleavage. <laughs> that was jokes. That was a great recommendation, guys. Thank yes, you so much for that. We you. really, really enjoyed that. That's probably one of my favorite um, stand-up uh, that I've seen. Yeah, like as good. a ten-minute clip there. I thought that was outstanding. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you guys have any other Bill Burr recommendations, let us know. Hit us in the yes. comments with them. Uh, if you liked our reaction, please hit that like button because it helps the algorithm, let, lets us know what you like, and allows us to continue to make content that you enjoy as much as we enjoy. So uh, thank you so much again for the support, guys. Make sure you subscribe and uh, check out our other videos if you haven't done so already. And make sure you come back soon for our next one. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. Take care. Take care.